date on your level friend on your level love on your level half of these people at the end of the day are not on your level but you won't know that until you in too deep and it's too late if God, if there's ever a time where God is dropping in your spirit, get away from this person. Get up out of this situation before it's too late. You need to hearken unto his voice and you need to listen because that is a sign. That is a warning. That is something off with this person. Y'all are not, y'all are not equally yoked. This person is not meant for you. And if any time there's any uh, person, a place or a thing that is not meant for you and you try to hold on to it, that keeps you delayed. That keeps the promises that he has for you delayed. The blessings that he has for you delayed. The miracles that he's trying to perform, it keeps them delayed and blocked. Do you understand me? Half of the time, these people, man, don't really be for you. They be for what you can do for them. And they will really play their role. If you don't what? Date on your level. If you don't what? Friend on your level. If you don't what? Love. Invest on your level. People got to start getting what they give out. Nothing more, nothing less. That's how we got to go. Nothing more, nothing less. Because let me tell you something. It is a test. Right before God takes you to where it is that you need to be. They don't try to come in and test you and send people on put place people purposely on your path. Why do you think every time you be encountering these people at different cycles, different moments in your life? People know you destined for greatness. They can sense it on you. They on your level. That's what's becoming of a queen and a king. Friend and love and invest on your level. You can get cased up with the wrong person if you want to. And then this person all up in your business and seeing what it is that you got going on. And God already done told you that he's trying to bring more your way and that he's gonna bring more your way. You don't want the wrong people around you. And then you're losing out on precious time that could be given to someone who is truly meant for you. I don't care how good it feels. I don't care what it is as that you feel you have to invest into and hold on to because of pleasure. Because it can cause you a lifetime of pain if you don't release it because these people ain't on your level. Do you understand me? You're going to feel it some way, some way, shape, or form. You're going to feel it. Hold it on to people who are not on your level. They will milk you. They will drain you. They will hurt you, make you feel less than, break you so they can keep you. Because to keep you is to keep you stuck. To keep you stuck is that they hold power over you. They can hold on to you and hold on to them blessings too. Hold on to that money too. Hold on to that them car payments being paid on time too. Hold on to their bills being paid on time too. All through you. Because you choose not to what? Date on your level. Friend on your level. Love on your level. Invest on your level. Don't say I ain't told you so. You just didn't want to listen. I suggest you listen this season, though. Because these blessings that God trying to usher you into, man, you don't want to forfeit that. You don't want to delay that. So first, place yourself in a situation and in a position to win and get and step into what you deserve.